Greetings, Corinthians. Thank you for tuning in for our Wednesday service. Uh, I pray the Lord has blessed you this week. I want to read from the book of Philippians, the fourth chapter, the last three verses of this chapter. We come to verse number 20, and we'll begin reading Philippians chapter 4, verse 20. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren which are with me greet you. All the saints salute you, chiefly they that are of Caesar's household. <clears throat> the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. What a, what a beautiful passage of Scripture. Paul comes to the end of this letter that he's writing, and he ends with these things to show appreciation. I want to ask you a question. Do you feel appreciated? Uh, I know that a lot of people go through life and they, they never feel appreciated. And we have a responsibility as Christians to show appreciation to each other. So let me say I appreciate you for watching. Uh, I appreciate for those that have been faithful to continue to watch on Wednesday nights and, and our Wednesday services, and also those that, that watch our, our Sunday services, those that are coming right now. I appreciate it so, so much. I, I appreciate you continuing to support uh, the ministries of this church or your financial giving. Uh, I'm just so grateful for each and every one of you. But I want to learn some things here that Paul talked about to show appreci appreciation. God is to be praised, is what Paul is saying. God is to be praised as God and as our Heavenly Father. He says in verse number 20, Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and forever. So He is to be praised as God. He is God the Creator, the sovereign, sovereign ruler of the universe. And out of any God, spelled with a little g, that you hear people talk about, He is the only true God. He is the only real God. He is the only living God. He dwells in majesty. He dwells in glory and dominion and power. Our God possesses a bottomless depth of wisdom and of knowledge. Uh, he reigns and He is clothed in, in majesty and also in strength. Because He is God. He is to be praised. He is our God, the wonderful God that cre creates everything that we, we see, all the beauties. Uh, from time to time, I'll see something I've never seen before. It wasn't long ago. I've seen eagles before. I've seen uh, eagles uh, flying, but I've never seen one flying in the wild. And it wasn't long ago, probably probably back in the spring, I, I saw the first time I ever saw an eagle flying in the wild. And it's just such a beautiful thing to see, see that beautiful uh, bird flying. And I think about all that God has created, and, and, and we just need to praise Him for, for being God. But not only that, God is to be praised as our Father. As our Heavenly Father, He humbled Himself enough to adopt us into His family. We're adopted as sons and daughters, and we become a part of the family of God. We are His creation, but now we, we are His family. And when we come to know Christ Jesus as our Lord and Savior, yet many will go around and they will criticize and they will grumble. They will uh, rebel against Him. And, and, and God has done so much for us. Why would we do that? But you have a world today that makes fun of God, and, and you have a world today that is rejecting God and rejecting His Word. And, and then even some that are claimed to be children of God will deny Him or question Him. And they deliberately disobey are disobedient uh, uh, to him. And, 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 and there are even some that will curse him. There are places that you'll go where you'll hear people taking the, the name of God in vain. But the Bible tells us to show appreciation to God. Show appreciation to him by giving him honor, by giving him praise, by giving him the glory uh, that he deserves. And I think that's something that you, each and every one of us needs to take time to do. I encourage you to read through the Psalms sometimes. There are so many of those Psalms that it's nothing but a praise to God, giving glory and, and, and credit 
and in praise to God, showing our appreciation to God. I'm so grateful. I think about all the things that God has done. I know we're living in crazy times right now, different times than we've ever lived in before. Uh, uh, and, but we need to watch for God working in this in these crazy times and then join alongside of Him. I'm so thankful that even in times like this, uh, where there's a pandemic in our nation and in the world, that, that God still has a purpose for each and every one of us and He cares about us and He's not forgotten about us. So take time to show appreciation to God. When's the last time you just said, thank you, God? Uh, maybe at Thanksgiving, that's not too far away, but let's don't wait till Thanksgiving to say thank you, God. Let's say thank you, God, now. Thank you for family. Thank you for friends. Thank you for a place to worship. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that I never feel alone. Thank you for all that you've done for me. Thank you for being my comfort, being my guide, being my strength in times of weakness. Thank you for being there for me and my family and my church family. My friends, let us take time to praise Him and show our appreciation to God. I'm just asking a simple question. When's the last time you showed God that you appreciated Him? Do we take God for granted? You know, I think sometimes we take church for granted, and then when, when we had to shut church down and all that, well, then, then we begin to miss it. We want to go back to normal. I want to go back to extra, something better than normal. Amen? I want to go to revival. I want to, I want to come out of this into a great revival that will sweep our nation. Sometimes we take things for granted, and it's so easy to take God for granted. But not only that, the Bible tells us here that believers are to salute Every saint. That means every believer. Salute means to greet them. We are to uh, greet every believer. Not ignore, uh, ignore them. Not to downgrade them. Now, if you're a Christian, if you're a child of God, you're not to ignore other people. You're not to downgrade other people. That's not Christian love. That's not Christian character, and that's not Christian action. And when we start downgrading people, you know what we're doing? We're showing, we're, we're showing the world that we're just like them. And we need to show the world that we're like Christ. Don't be a downgrader. Don't be one that pushes people down. Don't, don't withdraw from people. Don't neglect people. Don't snub people. Don't avoid people. Don't be one of those individuals that does that because that shows no Christian character in our life. Children of God are to greet, are to salute. We're to greet one another with love. We're to greet one another in a special way. Greet all the saints, the Bible says, including, talks about those of the house of Caesar, including the government officials. Greet all the believers. Greet them in a way. Let them know that you appreciate them. Let them know that you love them. Let them know that you care for them. My friends, uh, Christians need encouragement. We, we, we try to live our life. I want to encourage any students that's listening today, go to school and tomorrow and tell uh, another Christian, another child of God, another servant of God, say something good to them, greet them in a positive way, remind them that God loves them, remind them that, that God uses people just like them. God uses the ordinary to do the extraordinary and the supernatural and encourage them. We have a responsibility to do so in every day in our life to greet one another, not snub them, not uh, put them down, but to, to, to truly uh, uh, greet them, not neglect them or avoid them, but to greet them and show Christian love. And so that's how we show Christians we appreciate them. We need to let them know that we are grateful for the work they do. Look for someone that does something minor. It may seem minor, but they're consistent. They consistently doing uh, something in our church, and you thank them for what they're doing, and give them praise, and give them honor, and 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 lift them up, and let them know that 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 God appreciates them, and that you appreciate them. Believers are to wish grace. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ upon each other. Now, grace is a gift. It's a, a favor that someone might extend to a friend, never looking for anything in return. Uh, grace means like all favors and all gifts of God. Uh, grace means the favor of God showered upon others, even when they don't deserve it. Remember these three things about grace. 
God's grace is not earned. It's, it is something completely undeserved and un, unmerited. God's grace is the free gift of God. God extends His grace towards us. And thirdly, God's grace is the only way to be saved. The Bible tells us that we're saved by grace through faith. So it's by the grace of God that we can have salvation. So share grace with others. Do good things to others, not expecting anything in return. Do a favor for someone else, not expecting anything in return. Do it just to do it, just to show Christian love. Wouldn't it be a wonderful world if just believers in Jesus Christ, just the children of God, if no one else did, just the children of God, those that belong to Christ Jesus that are part of His family, would take each day of their life and show appreciation to God and appreciation to one another? Wouldn't it affect the way we treat one another if we went out of our way to show how much we appreciate someone, whether it's someone who who does something in the service, or someone who's a tens, or an usher, someone right now who's taking the tip tier of people when they come into the service, those type things. Wouldn't it be great if we just went out of our way to say give, give thanks to them and show that they're appreciated? I wonder when I asked the question earlier, do you feel appreciated? I wonder honestly how many people out there feel appreciated. But here's another question. Who do you make? feel appreciated. Who do you show appreciation to? I want to tell you, quit focusing on self. Focus on giving appreciation, honor, and glory to God, and also to our other brothers and sisters in Christ. This is how Paul ended this letter. He had ended this letter by just saying, listen, let's show our honor and our praise and our appreciation to God, and let's show our appreciation to one another. And I encourage us to do the same thing in this difficult time of life that we live in to show appreciation. Thank you for watching. And until next time, may the Lord be with you, guide you, and direct you.